you would expect a super fancy video at this point. But because it's a health issue, because it's a safety issue, and because there are so many questions that in my opinion have to be answered in order for you to decide for this product, we decided to make a more old school video. We had a couple of important points that we wanted to improve about masks. Number one, we wanted to make a transparent mask. Why transparent? I think it's a good idea. I think you want to see the facial expression of the other people. If you talk to people, maybe in, a, in your profession, maybe in a hospital, maybe in the care or maybe in education, to see your face is just essential part of communication. That's why we came up with this construction. This is actually the Lumino mask. Now, we decided to have a hard shell. You basically have two ways to go for transparency. Either you use a hard shell or you use a soft shell. The implications I'll tell you about later. Now, what's the main problem with any transparent mask? Obviously, it's this. It fogs up and that's ugly. And there is only one way, just one way how to avoid it. And that is a very powerful fan. This is our fan. This is a German make 5 watt radial fan. Also, only radial fans can actually uh, produce enough pressure in a mask to blow out the humidity. A lot of the projects that I see are using axial fans. There is no way they can do anything because axial fans do not produce any pressure. This is the way the mask looks with the filter and the ventilator attached to it. And now we're ready to go. So I didn't hold my breath or anything, but you can see it does fog up a little bit, but not really. Using such a strong fan has three big advantages. First of all, it blows out the humidity that you exhale. Actually, for your information, within an hour, a human being exhales between 10 to 70 milliliters of water. So that's a lot and this is going to build up in a mask if you do not blow it out with air. So that's number one, it doesn't fog up. Number two, and that's, that to me, this is the most important thing about the mask, fresh air. You get plenty of fresh air with the ventilation. And number three, very important, if you work for very long hours and you have to uh, apply the extra force to draw the air through the filter in and out you will get tired you will lose concentration you will fatigue and also you will get a headache after two three hours and this is also avoided with this mask because you do not have to apply that extra force the fan is doing this for you together with the transparency comes another technical challenge and that is sound there is basically two ways to make a transparent mask. One is to use a soft material such as silicone. The problem with that is it's absorbing sound. So you won't hear anything. The other option is to use a hard shell. That's what we do. If you just use the hard shell without any other feature, what's going to happen is sound's going to go away from your mouth. It's going to go back to your face and your face will absorb it. And again, you won't hear anything. That's why we came up with this. This is a sound membrane. The sound membrane works like a loudspeaker, but without a coil. Basically, basically you are the coil, the vibrations from your voice move this membrane and will get the sound out of the mask. The bit of overpressure that we create with the ventilator in the mask also helps with the tightness of the mask. So usually, 
a mask is never 100% tight. Also remember, as a man, you have to be shaved in order to use any mask. And then overpressure in our case helps a lot to uh, improve actually the performance of the mask. Let's talk about the filter for a moment. Basically every mask is using filters. A lot of the masks on the market, they have their own filters now. They produce their own filters. That's our first thought was the same because it gives us more flexibility in the design. However, we gave up this idea. The problem is that it's not so easy to produce a filter. You have to buy the right material. You have to be sure it's the correct material. You actually have to go for each batch of production and give it to a laboratory in order to test the material. Then it has to go back from the laboratory to the facility where you produce, then you have to produce, and then you have to distribute it around the world. And your customers might be wherever. So shipping relative to the price of the filter might be very expensive. So we decided to rely on these filters. These filters are produced by 3M. Probably this is the number one company in the world to produce filter material. It's a certified product, it's tested, and you don't have to worry about it. And it's sold in thousands of shops in more than a hundred countries in the world. Let's talk about UVC light for a moment. There's a lot of products now with using UVC light on the market. First of all, please understand that UVC light is very dangerous to human beings, but also to actually all living things. It will burn your skin. It will be very, very harmful to your eyes. It's actually, if you look into a UV light, it's much stronger than looking into the sun. So you have to be very careful with UVC light. It is a very dangerous thing, but therefore it's also a very useful thing if it comes to killing bacteria and viruses. And that's what UVC light is used for in hospitals, in airports, in airplanes, in air conditions. Uh, it's, it's used to, to sanitize water. There's a lot of uses to UVC light destroys bacteria and viruses. But in order to do so, you need to apply a certain amount of UVC light to, the, to whatever you want to sterilize for a period of time. If you are using a, let's say, 20, 25 milliwatts LED, in order to sterilize one liter of air, which is the amount that you in and exhale each time you breathe, this will take about one and a half minutes. So obviously this is not going to work because you breathe up to 10 or 12 times every minute. So the only way around this is a much more powerful UVC light. And that's what we employ. The UVC light that we employ is this. This looks a bit freaky here because the camera cannot cope. Actually, the light that comes out is just normal UV light. The dangerous UVC light stays inside. So for those among you which are more into the technical side of things, you just replace the 3M filter with the Lumino UVC module and then you have a mask that works with UVC light. Inside of this is a 5 watt Philips fluorescent UVC light. You should not use any other than the Philips uh, bulb because they are the only ones who do not produce any ozone which is dangerous. Usual LEDs that are contained in some of the masks on the market, they have a power of about uh, 20 to, yeah, around 20 milliwatts. Uh, some of them employ two, uh, which would um, amount to 40 or let's say 50 milliwatts. This has 1,100 milliwatts. So 1,100 milliwatts, this is really enough power to sterilize the air that goes in and out uh, of this mask. And this uh, should have enough protection for you. The calculations for this and the studies that are connected to it are, can be found in the explanation. But one more word on this. 
This is not a medical device. This is not a proven or certified product. If you choose this perk that includes the UVC module of Lumino, this is for exploring. This is for looking into the technology of it. It's not a product that we would recommend to use on a daily basis. We are interested in the dialogue with other people when it comes to this part. What's important about this mask and all of its components? Number one, they exist. This is nothing we have to develop. This mask is done. There is uh, the filter, which comes from 3M. There is the ventilator. You can see it's built. The mask itself comes in three different sizes. And the, this mask is a 3D printed product. We print it with our partner Shapeways and we get the, uh, the printed parts to us, we finalize them, we build them together for you and we ship them out to you. There is no molds we have to do, there is no electronics we have to do, we build the electronics for the UVC model. If you choose to have this perk, then uh, also these electronics are fully built. The reason why we are doing this campaign is we need a certain amount at least to print we need a certain amount of electronics to purchase. We need a certain amount of uh, the, the small parts that we still need, such as the sound membrane. So what will you get when you support the campaign? Basic set consists of the actual mask, the ventilation model and filters, uh, as well as a, val uh, a valve for the exhale part. It also includes a power bank. You can choose between different power banks. This is the strongest we have. That's a 30,000 milliampere. I believe for normal usage, 10,000 milliampere will also do it. For the UVC model, you will receive the UVC model itself and the light that comes with it. That's a five watt light from the company of Philips. It's important to only use this light because it's the only one on the market that does not produce ozone which is dangerous for your health so do not ever attempt to put any other light than this one also we want to make you aware of the fact that we will supply the light as is you will have to mount it yourself into the uvc model as i say this is for people who like to tinker and experiment it's not a proven product. Of course, we hope you will uh, contribute to the campaign. And if you have more questions, please do not hesitate. We really like to give you full transparency on the product, on the processes. And uh, we are waiting for your questions in the FIQ section. And thank you very much.